In this video, I'm going to show you how we can power this Ubiquiti Nano Station just by using a LiPo battery. This is the setup that we're going to follow, a LiPo, then we're going to boost it into 12 volts, then the 12 volts will be converted to 220 volts AC or 110 volts AC using an inverter before it goes to the Ubiquiti. The Ubiquiti is powered by 24 volts PoE and it uses this PoE adapter splitter that is 20, uh, 220 or 110 volts AC powered. When I try this setup, the VUS converter actually heats up because the Ubiquiti is getting too much current from the LiPo and then the VUS converter need to get current as well or has produced or need to produce current coming from the LiPo battery so it also heats up. So I have a new solution for that. This is the new setup that I got. I have still the LiPo but instead of having one boost, I used to boost. I actually can use a higher wattage boost but I don't have that on my bin so I just use the same boost converter but I do it in parallel. So this is a Schottky diode which I have in my bin so that I can O-ring these two boost output which is still the same as 12 volts and then I need to power up my ubiquity. The boost converter I'm using for this is this and then for the O-ring I'm using this part number. You can still use other O-ring diode as long as they are the same or in one pack package so that they will be balanced. The goal here is that you need to set the voltage output of the boost to be equal on the other boost. And this is the actual circuit. As you see here, this is the actual two boost converter with the same input going to the connector for the lithium polymer battery which is connected to a multimeter that's why it's here because I'm measuring the current drain from this LiPo battery and then you see they are actually connected the way I've shown in the diagram and this is the o-ring diode that we are using you need to ensure that the voltage output of this two bus converter should be really equal so that they will load share via this diode and then after connecting this LiPo battery on this connector going to this to input of the boost converter in parallel, it will now go on our inverter. And this inverter has this connector and we can plug in our ubiquity, the PoE of our ubiquity. Once we plug it in, the ubiquity now can, we can now connect the P out of this ubiquity, the PoE, to our nano station. And then the other one will be connected to the router that we are using, which for my case is a TP-Link router. The TP-Link router is currently connected via this adapter, so it has a different supply. I will also use a 9 volts uh, supply here separately, that's why it's, still, it's now powered, but the ubiquity is not yet powered on. So we will now connect it and check the current consumption, and let's see how much it draws from our LiPo battery. I now connect the LiPo battery in our boost circuit and currently it's draining around 2.2 ampere, 2.3 ampere. So and then the inverter will have this powered so it has is now light, the light indicator is now on and then you need to check at the back of the ubiquity if it's now on and you see the light indicator there it's on and you need to wait for the signal to arrive the other end of this nano station is on the other router here in our house so that it can deliver the internet in this ubiquity receiver basically i'm setting it into a point-to-point -point mode i hope you find this video useful and interesting please don't forget to like and to subscribe on my channel so you can also you can follow this circuit diagram in case you need to power your ubiquity using a LiPo battery. Bye-bye.